Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Today, I'm going to compare the two top mid-size knives in my collection. The builds that are going heads up will be the Iron and the Companion, both produced by Riot Knives. Comparing both functional and non-functional properties should bring me to a final conclusion on which knife is really the better overall EDC choice. Starting with the blades, the Iron sports a three and a quarter inch spear point, while the Mini Glimpse comes in with a three inch drop point. The Iron's blade is comprised of M390 and has an actual cutting edge of 2 and 7 eighths of an inch. The MG blade still is S35VN with an actual cutting edge of 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. Although the MG's blade is an eighth of an inch shorter, it's also a tenth of an inch thinner by the stock. And coupled with the hollow grind, the extremely low swedge, and the sheep's foot type of edge, the minimal belly leans towards more of my pocket knife package opening tasks. So I'm going to give blade performance and geometry to the companion. Of course, being a folder, you must deploy the blade, so let's look at the options. The companion, as many people say, has an extremely built pocket pecker of a flipper tab. For me, my knife pocket is only holding my knife and possibly a knife bag, so this isn't a problem for me. On the other hand, the iron only comes with a flipper tab or studs, but not both simultaneously. However, the MG sports a fluted fuller that is very useful. It can be used to do a cat's paw, thumb flick, and even reverse flick. The iron's platforms are very unique and reliable, but you must know the exact area to apply force to initiate deploy. And the reverse flick can feel like you're about to drop the iron at times. In the deployment area, as well as ease of use, this point goes to the companion again. Coming in with identical handle lengths and thickness, being four and a half inches in length and 55 hundredths of an inch thick, I believe the edges of the iron are some of the smoothest filling contours I've ever felt from a Riot. While the MG isn't far behind, I can definitely feel the pocket clip and Mohawk style backspacer when bearing down on the handle. And while I can't say it's uncomfortable, I can say I feel them. So the ergos and fill in hand point is awarded to the iron. Durability of the build is next. And the mini is a liner locking flipper, while the iron is a frame lock with a steel lock bar insert and the MG doesn't. Even though the liner is titanium and has been treated to prevent stick, I'd still prefer the steel insert. The iron's frame is almost all tie, with the exception of a micarta insert, while the companion's liners are countersunk within G10 and carbon fiber. I can say I've dropped the iron more times than I can remember, at least four, and there has never been any issues, no reduction in action, or that bumpy feeling that happens after the bearings ding little divots in the washers from being dropped on the side. Previous MG I owned, I dropped it on a tile floor, and the lock side scale cracked. Every time I've dropped the iron, it's been directly on the concrete, and other than a few cosmetic scuffs and blemishes, the little tank keeps right on flicking. So the durability, hands down, goes to the iron. And moving along, the MG comes in with a weight of 3.67 ounces, and has a handle width of 1 inch. The iron's handle is an eighth of an inch taller at 1 and an eighth inches, and weighs in at 4.83 ounces. The only one up I can give the iron is the pocket clip functions much better than the ceramic insert style clip, which is my favorite clip design. Due to its smaller in pocket footprint and over an ounce slider, the MG wins the carry category. Looking at the hardware and its placement is what started me thinking of how the builds are very alike. Similarly, both builds have the same disassembly process with different internals. Four screws, two on either side, through the backspacer, and the male side pivot. Both builds have free spinning pivots and have internals that can be removed such as the iron's blind mount titanium inlay that holds the micarta insert in place while keeping its contoured form. And the MG has inset tie liners that pop out. Neither of these parts need to come out during cleaning unless the liners need cleaning and to be oiled. But the Mini does have loose bearings in its pivot system, which I'm very fond of the action that the loose bearings provide. But for ease of disassembly, I think everyone would prefer the cage ceramic system utilized on the iron, especially if you're out in the field. And to add even more insult to injury, on the ceramic clip of the glimpse, there are two very tiny pins that rest in the frame to keep the clip true when mounted to the build, adding two additional small pieces that have to be kept up with. So this one goes to the iron again. As far as the non-functional part, aesthetics combined with fit and finish, which is all subjective, I would honestly give the looks to the MG. The fuller, blade style, and the fact that I've owned more than two of the glimpse knives speaks for itself. Both builds run on smooth ceramic bearing systems, resulting in a glassy action. 
The iron's blade, having a bit more mass, allows for this amazing roll shut action that due to its smaller, way lighter blade, the Mini will never achieve. Both builds have extreme tolerances within the build and continued into the handles with the seamless transitions between different materials, leaving it to the intricacies of each build. And the iron's blind mount tie insert into a micarta inlay lined by titanium is definitely a design feat. But the Mini's carbon fiber inlay G10 with titanium inserts and a loose bearing system has to be harder to manufacture and assemble. And even down to the smallest details such as the crown blade spine all the way to the tang, the very fine satin belt grind that you can clearly see the difference in the finish. And the edgeless contoured scales with the only edges running along the handles fuller or lanyard slot. So this point has to go to the Mini, leaving price and packaging. The Mini comes in a nice box with a foam bedding, while the iron ships in the boring plain white Riot box, but does come with an amazing carry pouch with velcro patches and no zippers to ding up the knife. In addition, Riot included extra washers and body screws with the iron. As far as the price point goes, there was only a $5 price difference at their time of release. The iron in this configuration is still offered for $330 and the MG hit the market with an asking price of $335 for the liner locking model. Again, both knives are extremely close in this category, but if I had to choose the iron being cheaper, offering more knife marginally, and definitely better materials and extra hardware has to take the win in price and packaging. The Glimpse took the blade, then the deployment categories, while the iron took ergos and durability categories. The weight went to the mini and the iron won disassembly. Aesthetics fit and finish included went to the glimpse. With the iron, due to the pouch plus hardware, taking price and packaging, tie the overall score. And for some reason, I would have to lean towards the glimpse as the EDC choice if I could only take one. And I'm definitely biased towards both builds, but I believe the companion has more thought put into the overall design. What are your personal thoughts on the knives and which one would you choose? Do you think they look similar in design or is it just me? Please hit the like button, drop a comment below, share the link, and please sub to the channel. And with that, I'll be signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.